Congratulations on one of the NCAA. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, Curtis, he getting he getting interviewed by the camera right now. Say out of the camera, bro. Um, hey, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me about Florida State. What do you guys know about them? Um, we know that they got they got a real good team. That their point guard, he's a tremendous player. They're real good at shooting the three. Um, we know it's going to be a real hard game. Do you guys uh, have any uh, sort of thoughts about being uh, the number four seed? Uh, that makes a difference to you? Uh, no, nah, we're just happy to be in a tournament. It's a privilege whenever you get to play in the NCAA tournament. So we're just happy that we made it and we're looking forward to the opportunity to play in the game. A little tough on the road this year at times for you mm -hmm. guys. And of course, this is the ultimate road coming mm -hmm. out uh, to the tournament. How do you handle that? How do you get up there? Um, I mean, it's the NCAA tournament, so it's no time to worry about past mistakes or past games. It's a whole new season, so we're just looking forward to that. Yeah, coach. Yeah, coach is coming. We didn't see you slip by. Okay. Oh, I saw. Well, you know, any game in the NCAA tournament is a tough one, and uh, Portland State is a dangerous team because they rely heavily on the three-point shot, and they do it well. Uh, they have a point guard who's very similar to Drew Lavender, who used to play for us. He's small, but means a lot to their team. And it's going to be a challenge to make sure that we don't allow them to have a big night. And then in the NCAA tournament, uh, it's always important that, that our team does what, what makes us good. And we don't deviate and we play with confidence. So it's going to be a difficult game, but anytime you have an opportunity to advance, it's something that's... Uh, an, an incredible feeling as a college basketball player and coach, so that's, that's certainly our goal. Do you, do you worry at all about the Detroit? Not really. You know, our, our overall road record, if you if you look at it, is 74. A year ago, that's what our road record was. It just what sticks out with this team is that we've lost recently on the road. And at one point, I think we were 6-0 and on the road. So it's more about uh, us over the last 10 or 12 games maybe not being as good of a team as we were prior to that. That doesn't mean that we won't be on Friday, though. And we've had a terrific season to put us in this position. And we want to take advantage of, of it on, uh, on Friday as a four seed and, and putting our team in a position. Since the season ended, have you done anything differently to get ready? Not really. You know, I think that's the worst thing you can do. There's a reason that we're a four seed and a reason that we're in the NCAA tournament. It's more about making sure we're good in those areas as opposed to changing a whole lot. There's certainly things that we didn't do well recently that we've addressed, but uh, it's more about you know, doing the things that make us a good team as opposed to changing. There's only three higher than that, and I know in school history we've only been higher than four at one time. Several players on this year's team were a member of last year's team that was a three seed, so it says a lot about those guys, our team, that in two years we've had a three and a four seed. Like last year, our goal is, is uh, to advance. If you remember a year ago, we were down almost 10 or 12 points at the half in our first round matchup. So first round, there is no second round. It's, it's about trying to win that first game. What's the toughest? Well, I think, you know, you really want to be uh, excited about being a part of the tournament. There's so many teams that wish they were a part of this year's tournament. There's so many good teams that aren't. And, uh, equally, when you're a part of the tournament and you lose, you're not the story anymore. It ends quickly. So uh, we, we want to keep playing. E.J. Rainey and C.J. Anderson have both done an amazing job for our program. And to continue to let them play on is, uh, is our goal. Great article. Yeah, thank you. Take care. Are the team in there? Yep, right here. Go ahead.